What's up you guys? So I'm pretty excited to share this video with you guys today because it's going to be a, what should I call this video, a Louis Vuitton Keyball 45 bandolier, uh, what fits my bag, and basically a review of this bag. So as you guys know, I recently picked up this bag, um, I've been lusting over it for quite some time, and the bag that I have here, of course, as I mentioned, is the Louis Vuitton Keyball 45. Now the print or the canvas that I have this bag in is the Damier Cobalt, the Damier Cobalt print released with Louis Vuitton and I believe it was January 2014. Now if you want to see an up close of the bag and my initial unboxing of the video, I will go ahead and list the video of me unboxing it somewhere in the video in the screen right now so you can go ahead and check that out. Now the reason I never really purchased a Louis Vuitton bag um, for quite some time was because I find the brand Louis Vuitton as a whole very uh, very loud and borderline obnoxious. Um, a lot of Louis Vuitton prints that release or a lot of popular Louis Vuitton items they just have the monogram plastered over everything and a lot of people can pull off the monogram, and I know so many people that can pull off the monogram, but in my personal opinion, the monogram can look very, very tacky, and um, it's just not a style I personally like. So when I recently discovered, just looking around on the Louis Vuitton website, that they carry a blue and black version of their famous Damier print, um, I, was, I was stoked. And even more so, they carried it in the bag that I wanted forever, which was the Keepall. More specifically, the Keepall 45. Now, this is the bandolier version, so of course it does come with the shoulder strap. The shoulder strap on the bandolier is very adjustable and quite comfortable. And if I haven't mentioned before, the hardware on this bag is actually silver hardware. So, um, a little bit different than your traditional Louis Vuitton bags that are usually a gold hardware. So this is the Keep All 45 right here. The 45 is the entry level size you will get with your Louis Vuitton Keep Alls. A really big misconception a lot of people think is um, that the Keep Alls are very, very um, different in price point as you go up in sizes and that's not true at all. I think once you enter the, the price point of a Keep Ball, upgrading it to a different size isn't really that costly. I think the 55 of this one was just about 40 more US dollars. So like I said, once you purchase the size you want or the style you want, upgrading its size, Louis Vuitton won't charge you like $400 to get a 55 or um, $600 more to get a 60. It's all relatively in the same ballpark. So I do really like that a lot. Now, like I said, I absolutely love the Damier Cobalt. It's a very understated print. It's a very low key print. Just my kind of style. And you know, I really want to address this because my style hasn't always been understated. I used to be someone that was really flashy. I liked logos on everything. I liked everyone to know exactly what the hell I was wearing. But my style, as it has evolved, I would like to think, over the years, I definitely like things that are more <laughs> just low-key and just not very, very discreet because I that's just the style I like. So I kind of like that because it just goes to show you that anyone that might identify or recognize a designer item you are wearing, they will have to kind of know about fashion or keep up with it to appreciate it. So I personally like that. And another reason I got the Damier Cobalt print was because sometimes when I work in Los Angeles for photo shoots, the photo shoots don't, or at least the studios, aren't located in the most glamorous locations. So I don't want to be a red target walking around with a monogram plaster bag and get mugged or something. That's just the reality of the world we live in. And um, even when I travel to uh, certain countries, like when I go to South America, um, in Colombia, if you walk around with a Louis Vuitton monogram bag, it's just like you're asking to get kidnapped, I feel like. So I, I definitely like the understated version of this bag. The key ball and Louis Vuitton items in general just keep going up and up in price. And I remember when the key ball, or when I first um, recognized the key ball, I think this bag retailed for no more than $1,400 and um, 
I wish the price of that was still the same, but it's not. So my advice is, you know, if you have your eye out on this bag, go ahead and pick it up. The reason I purchased this bag was because I needed an everyday bag. I'm sad to say, well not sad to say, I will say this serves as a great everyday bag, but it's a borderline a little bit too big for some of the um, situations I encounter with this bag. Um, there's some times where I feel like this bag is too large for uh, maybe a work environment I'm going to be in. So the bag can sometimes be like just a tad too large for some of the work environments I am in. And um, I actually am looking for a bag to get me around um, the city and stuff. I'm actually going to be traveling to the East Coast um, sometime in the near future to New York. And um, I need a bag with me to take around the city. And I definitely can't lunge this thing around New York and just walk around. I know the bag I'm going to get next and I'm really excited to get that bag because it's, it's just absolutely stunning. I'll save that as a secret though to you guys. I won't waste any more time and I'll go ahead and get started with this what's in my bag video. So I definitely think you can get away with almost five days of clothes without, how do I say this? You can get away with about five days of clothes in here, including one pair of shoes, the underwear, and the socks. Um, maybe two or three pairs of jeans and a bunch of tops to match with them. So you can get away with almost a week of clothes in here, or at least I can. I am the master of packing bags. So you could get away with about four to five days of clothes. Obviously, you could get away with a weekend of clothes in here. I'm going to show you what I carry in here personally for work. The only thing that's not in here and that's being used right now is my camera. But my camera does fit with everything else I'm going to be showing with you inside of here. So let's go ahead and get started. So the zip on this bag is beautiful and I'm just going to go ahead and start right away. One thing I have with me is this H&M hat that my friend Donovan actually gave me. Um, now I carry this hat with me because I dress up very, very formal for work and if I need to kill time in Los Angeles or in Beverly Hills or any, or any place I'm going to be to kill some time to wait for traffic to die down a little bit, I will definitely change out my clothes. And a hat is the first thing that goes on my head. Um, a hat, I just love a good simple black hat, goes with everything, keeps the hair in place if it's starting to go a little bit crazy. I always carry this with me and even when I'm driving, I will put this on um, and change out into more casual clothes because I'm not trying to look presentable forever. Um, eventually, clothes need to come off. So I always carry a hat with me. The next thing I carry with me is a change of a shirt. Let me find it really quickly. So I always carry a change of clothes with me, or at least a shirt. I usually wear a blazer, suit, and tie. Um, I take off my blazer, I take off my tie, and I take off my dress shirt and stuff it in the bag, and I will change out into something simple and black. This is a Calvin Klein underwear shirt. Um, I wear these as normal shirts. Very form fit into the body, always keep these with me. This and the black hat, essential, always have to be in this bag in case I need to change out from my more dressed up clothes into something a little bit more relaxed. Now this is my man toiletry bag or my makeup bag. My friend Stephanie, Stephanie if you're watching, hello. She actually gave me this for my birthday, it's from Fossil, it's a chevron print. I absolutely love this thing stores everything I could ever need in here and in this thing I keep anything that is very quick and easy and gets me freshened up for the next adventure my day will be on. So I carry in here my Dolce & Gabbana light blue cologne. I would take my Tom Ford cologne in here with me but I just kind of use this as a like a retoucher of a scent so I always carry that with me. Um, I carry my Eve Long cream foundation in case I need to clean off my entire face and start my foundation all over again in case it looks tired. I carry my Givenchy powder foundation just to quickly set the face. I carry my Oribe dry texturizing spray to refresh in my hair in case it feels like I need to refresh in it. I carry my Chanel cream blush and intonation to bring some vibrancy to the skin in case I look dull and tired. I carry my Giorgio Armani Maestro Concealer in number 4. I love this concealer because um, 
even if you set your face with powder already, you can go over this concealer with it and it won't disrupt the texture of your face and concealer is really important for long work days. I also carry my V76 Lip Balm by Vaughn, which I am wearing on my lips today. And I also carry my IT Cosmetics Je ne sais quoi Lip Flush Vitality to bring some life and color back to my lips in case I look a little bit dehydrated or um, just look like I've had a really long day. Well, I carry a spare pair of shoes, believe it or not. When walking in Oxfords all day, um, if I'm going to walk around the city for the rest of the day or walk around anywhere for that matter, um, and I just want to go to my car and change out my shoes. I carry a pair of drivers with me. These are my Todd's Red Suede drivers. They're very comfortable. They're like a vacation for your feet after a long work day. So I definitely change out into these and I always carry a pair of drivers inside my bag just to change out into a more comfortable pair of shoes. Next up in here, what else do I have? I have my Saint Laurent Bold One sunglasses. You guys has seen me whore out these sunglasses and wear them to death. The sunglass uh, cloth is in here. These are the sunglasses right here. The best pair of sunglasses I've ever bought. Um, I want them in the tortoise shell print as well. In here I also have my wallet, this one, or money clip. This one's from Bali. I also carry my business cards in here, which um, I don't have that many left. I only have about four left. I have the lock, I have the keys to my lock inside my bag. I, I never really lock my bag, so kind of pointless. And last but not least, and I know I'm going to go to hell for this, but I need to buy a case for this soon. I carry my laptop with me inside this bag. I make sure to wrap the laptop inside a really thin blanket. I know, so, so, like, <laughs> ratchet, I feel like. But I just haven't found a laptop case I like yet. And um, I don't always take my laptop with me in this bag. But when I do, it fits inside it perfectly. And that's basically everything I could, and also my camera fits in the mix of all of this. So basically, this is what fits inside the keep ball. And then once there's nothing in it, it's depressing and just collapses into nothing. You can buy base shapers for these bags from third party um, accounts and websites and things like that. eBay definitely sells um, base shapers for these bags. I haven't really thought about getting one yet, but I am considering Alright you guys, so that wraps up the video for What's My Bag, a little quick review of the Keyball 45 in Damier Cobalt, and it is the bandolier with the shoulder strap on it. I would absolutely recommend you get the bandolier version of any Keyball. Um, it's just really, really essential, and I can't tell you how many times that strap has come into handy. Um, as you can see, I have had the luggage tag hot stamped right here. It comes with the handle grips right here, which I really recommend you keep on the bag at all times. I actually thought I lost this recently, and I called Louis Vuitton to ask how much it costs to replace this, and they said it was close to 300 US dollars for this, for this little, like, nothing on the thing. So always keep this on there. Has a lock on it. Um, this bag is made in France. It was really hard to find a made in France one. I can't walk around Beverly Hills or anything, you know, going from job to job um, <laughs> with this bag in my hand. I'll look like I'm going to rob an apartment store or something. So I'm going to be purchasing something that is a little bit more. Oh, I don't want to give it away. It's a really damn nice bag though. So I'm really excited to get that in the near future. I've already made up my mind on what bag I'm getting. I spent like the last two days, three days researching the bag, and um, I'm pretty stoked to get this bag next. There is a really good function and purpose for this bag though, I mean, when I'm traveling, carry-on, this is a carry-on friendly size onto the airplanes, I mean, this is just an iconic bag, and you know, I'm not really someone that's going to be a Louis Vuitton collector or anything like that. I'm not really someone that's going to be a Louis Vuitton collector, there's very select and few things I like from the brand. Um, this is definitely one of them. This was my all-time dream bag to own from Louis Vuitton and I'm so happy that I finally was able to get this here um, and especially in a really new and clean fresh print that they have to offer. Being someone that's not going to collect a lot of Louis Vuitton in the future, I was pretty uh, stoked to get this main piece off my fashion bucket list and yes, a fashion bucket list does exist. So, just wanted to share a what's in my bag and a little quick review on the Keep All 45. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and as I always say, until next video, I'll see you guys then.